What is up, everybody? And welcome back to North Idaho. Good morning. It is nice out. It's a little cooler. Mm -hmm. And we have a huge project ahead of us today. We are going to begin our fencing project. Mm -hmm. Really excited about that. We have a lot of work to do. A lot of stuff and, like, supplies around up. So we got to get going. Let's do it. Check out the garden, guys. Really doing pretty good. Lots of rain. Anybody that's in North Idaho, you know, pretty crazy springtime storms and sparks have been happening. Lots of thunder and lightning and crazy rain. <laughs> These are who need to be fenced in, and we are headed up this way, guys. So the project for today is to start fencing our property essentially. So we are going to run a fence from this pasture all the way up to the top. Ah, I just got shocked by the fence, dang it. Uh, all the way up to the top. And that's gonna be right on our property line more or less. We're gonna run it from that corner all the way down to this corner over here guys. And then from there, back to this corral, this enclosure that is uh, connected to the barn. And that is the very beginning stages of our fencing projects, I guess. So our goal is to have just mountainside pasture all over this mountain, essentially. We wanna have it split up into different pastures so we can move these animals around. And there's so much free food on this mountain, guys. It's so lush, there's leaves, <laughs> there's grasses, Twigs, sticks, bugs, I mean, anything, guys. You name it, it's up here. So this is a big project for us. This is a pretty big undertaking also. This mountain here, guys, it's steep. There's a lot of brush. So that is the very first step is to clear all the brush, heading up to the top of the mountain, right on our property line. Okay, we haven't even introduced this little guy yet. Mike and I brought a goat to our homestead. So the goat and the sheep are now in here, kind of finishing up this area. Turns out some of our subscribers were right. They had commented the sheep don't absolutely love the weeds. That was one of the main reason we got the sheep was to help us manage the land. So we brought a goat in so we could eat the tansy and he loves it. These guys became good friends real quick. Okay, you guys, we've made it up to, we call this area the saddle. It's kind of the middle part of our property. You go up here and then up that road to the top. So we're gonna start the fencing right over here. We're gonna try our best to go to as many trees as possible so that we don't have to use more T-posts than we need to really. So it looks like we're gonna be starting at this tree, going straight down and then from this tree over to here and straight down that way. And this entire hillside right here will be fenced off. But first, before we do any fencing, we've got the chainsaw, the weed eater, some clippers. We've got to make some nice straight lines so that no brush, branches, grass, anything like that is touching this electrical fence. We've made it to like our first checkpoint, I guess. I think we're gonna go inside and have a snack. 
but we have to hike all the way back up the mountain, back to the four-wheeler, um, bring it back down because you're going to start counting pee posts. Yeah, we're going to try to do everything working down. So carry everything up with a four-wheeler and then carry it down by hand. Luckily, we're fortunate enough to be able to do that. Yeah. So I think it's going to be a lot easier than carrying it all up, but that means we have to walk back up. Yeah. Mostly at the hand though, so. For sure. Works out good. Yeah, so back up this trail and then go from there. Looking good. All right, you guys, we made it back up. We have a whole bunch of T-posts. We've got the insulators. I think we are just going to start pounding these T-posts in straight down the cleared path we just made. This tree is going to be our starting post, so. Next post will be down there and we'll just keep going. it up, some more materials, let's head back up. Alright guys, back up at the saddle here and that actually just went really smooth. We ended up using 10 T-posts to make it almost all the way back to like the main barn. So that's really cool. I was skeptical with how many T-posts we needed, so that worked out really good. Now. We are reloading T-posts and we're actually gonna head off this direction, down the road a little bit. And then there's a corner down here a ways. That's where we're gonna, again, end this run here and head back towards the barn. So yeah, more T-posts. Hey you guys, we've made it back to our next corner spot. So we have to clear some more brush because this tree right here is going to be kind of like our corner post and then go back down. You see we have to make another line all the way back down to the barn there. Gotta clear some more stuff, huh? You clear it, this is thin. This will be nice. Yeah. ran out of string for that weed whacker. So I'm headed down to the bottom to grab some. There he is. All right guys, so we got the T-post pounded 
everything is clipped out. Liz went through and clipped the rest of the T-posts. There might be one or two here and there, but we are up at the top and I got a few of these insulators that are designed for a wood application. We're gonna put one on this tree because that is one corner heading down that way. The other one is going on this tree because that is the other corner heading down that way. And then just between the two, I don't know if I have enough of these, but I do have some of the porcelain insulators. So I'm gonna get all the trees done first with this style of clip, just cause it's much easier to just screw it right to the tree. And uh, if I have enough, I'll connect these two with that. If not, I do have some of the porcelain insulators just to run something in between these two trees. But that run in between the trees is definitely gonna be independent from this run as well as that run. Trying to keep everything independent. One of the things we learned from the last fencing project was maybe to do individual straight runs rather than trying to do a giant circle around everything like we did on that smaller pasture. We're just gonna do straight runs to the next corner, cut it off, start a completely new run heading down that next way. Um, so yeah, let's get some insulators on. Yeah, the eagles are fishing because the uh, fish are spawning up the creek. Windy too. So this is an old piece of wire that is in this tree. So I think this uh, uh, this tree might have served as a corner post at one time in a an earlier earlier life. Man, that's a thick piece of wire too. What is? This? All right, you guys, last night we ended up getting one long run of fencing finished, five strands. It looks really, really good. It just gives us a little bit of a preview what this entire like uh, fenced off mountainside is going to look like. And I think it looks so good. All right, it was really nice that we we're able to use um, a few trees as like the corner post. That's really helpful, saves us some T-posts. So you can see we got these guys screwed in with three inch screws, go up. We've got five strands running all the way up to the top. These are pretty close. Once we get all of the wire up, it's pretty apparent we're going to have to go through and really like clear some more brush as well as like fill up with dirt and rocks underneath so that nothing can slip under, whether that be the sheep or the goat or anything else. So we definitely have more work to do there, but the plan is to get all of the wire up first. So you can just see how awesome this looks. This is all along the road going up to the top of the mountain or the saddle, I guess before we even get to the top of the mountain. I think it looks so good. So yeah, right here, good example. We're gonna fill it up with rocks. This is our drain system. Lots of water comes down this road. So the water stops here, can't make it over this hump, drains right out. So we'll fill it up with rocks so that it's still able to drain and then dirt wherever the water doesn't need to get through. I just think it looks so good. Mike's up there weed whacking. A couple of spots. I think we need to pound at least one more T post in. You can see this little tree right here. We need to get that out of there. It's already touching the fence. Just a little bit more work to do, but it's looking good. Hey! <laughs> Okay, so the next spot that we're going to be doing is this long run that we ended up clearing out first yesterday. So you can see that's a pretty long run down that way. We'll start again at this tree here. You can see we've already got these um, pin locking insulators on there, five strands. So that is the next part we're doing.
All right, you guys, we got the first strand ran all the way down this long run to this tree here. And then rather than making that tree a corner, we just come over to the next tree right here. And then that will actually be the corner. So we're gonna screw up five more insulators here on this side, five more on this side, and then down that way. You can kind of see our next two posts right there to that big tree over there and then down to the barn. This is a good workout, about as good as it gets, <laughs> doing this all day long. Keep you in shape. Those five on, that looks good. Looks really good. <sighs> this one. That first stretch that we did this morning was definitely the steepest. This one is not quite as long as like that middle run that goes down the road. So we should be able to bang that out pretty quick. We put this long cedar post. We needed something sturdy because we're gonna have tighteners on it. So we don't want to just like have this measly little post sitting here. We got these um, like corner insulators, these pin locking ones right here. So I think the next thing we have to do is go back up to the top, um, get a few supplies and start running the wire from this corner down to right here. I know the sheep are so excited to get into just even this grass right here. I mean, the entire mountain is big and they'll have lots to eat, but they have been eyeing this and we've been picking it for them since we can't let them out quite yet. There's gonna be a gate right here. So we'll be able to just open that up and let these guys have like free range of the mountain. I'd say the storm is blowing in. <laughs> windy. Super windy. Got the chin strap on. Yeah. Where it gets really tight. All right, you guys, check out how awesome this looks. We got this section done last night, right before the storm rolled in and it started raining really, really hard, but that looks awesome. We've got another stretch to do on that side. Um, I think one more little one up at the top and then this thing is completely <laughs> fenced in. That's super awesome. We'll have to cut out part of this fence where we're gonna have the gate and we might be able to get these sheep in here pretty soon. <laughs>
guys, we just got this heavy duty fence charger. You can see it's at 14 and a half volts. That is really, really good. Not something you wanna to touch. So that is hooked up to this top wire here, which is also hooked up to the entire fence. And we've checked it and everything is energized. So these sheep are not going to be wanting to get close to that fence at all. So they've been kind of grazing right up here in this just little grassy area. I think they're gonna stick to right here for a while. They feel most comfortable at the barn. So until you know they get a little bit braver and kind of get used to it, I think they're just gonna be staying pretty close to right here before they go all the way up. But I already know they're loving it. Fencing. So that was one, two, three and a half days total, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, fencing is a lot of work, especially on this whole mountainside, guys. Yeah, it's the mountain. It's going up and down and up and down and up and down. That'll keep you in good shape. So we're not really complaining, but it was hard work. Five up and downs for each long run. There are three long runs and then two other short ones as well as the one at the top. Um, so yeah, lots of up and down, and, but it, it works. Everything's doing pretty good. Yeah. We've got the fence turned on. It's working. We still have a little bit of work to go through and kind of just mend some areas that have a really big low spot underneath the fence where mm -hmm. an animal can slip right underneath that. Right. Um, so definitely still some work to do on this whole project and also put a gate here. Uh, but for now, yeah, we just had the sheep out here. We just brought them back in actually. Um, kind of train them a little bit. Yeah, I think the but. plan for right now is going to be um, bringing them back into their main corral at night, shutting up the gate, and then letting them onto the mountain in the morning time. Um, that's just until like we get really super used to it, you know, until they get used to coming back here on their own. Mm -hmm. I think that's what we're gonna do. But we feel really confident that right now they're gonna stay in this grassy area uh, before they even make their way up to the rest of the mountain. We guess that it's probably about two acres that we fenced yeah. in, so more than enough for what we have right now is three sheep on there. You know, we need to section off a couple more spots in order to get the ram and all of them together, but that's down the line. It feels really good though to have this done. I know the sheep were getting super antsy just having only eating the hay. Um, they were getting pretty sick of that. So they're very content and happy now. Yeah, looks good. And like you said, this is a huge chunk of land. Yeah, this is yeah. at least two acres, so plenty of room. Lots of room to section it off here in the future. Um, so we're excited. And we appreciate you guys watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. In a few days time, we will do another video talking about this project on our other channel, Layback Living. But until then, thanks guys. We appreciate you. See you next time.